artists create descriptive curve networks to depict complex shapes in 3D space or 2D media. We present FlowRap, an algorithm for extracting similarly descriptive compact 3D curved networks from freeform shapes. Our output networks provide a concise visual description of the underlying surface and can be directly used to reconstruct the input model. To infer the desired curve network, we leverage insights from perception, computer graphics, and design literature. Visually descriptive networks are cycle descriptive, that is, their cycles unambiguously describe the geometry of the surface patches they surround. Such networks are also designed to be projectable, or easy to envision when observed from a static viewpoint. Both properties are best achieved by using networks dominated by flow lines, or surface curves aligned with principal curvature directions across an isotropic regions and strategically extended across sharp features and isotropic areas. We leverage these observations to construct a compact, descriptive curve network. We use as input curvature-aligned quad-dominant meshes, and can handle inputs with multiple singularities and other artifacts. To obtain reliable flow lines, we first extract flow line strands, or clusters of similarly directed curvature field streamlines. We then use those to extract individual flow lines. We use the extracted flow lines and the model's sharp feature curves to form a projectable network which describes the underlying surface. We then simplify this network while preserving its descriptive power to obtain the desired compact network. We regularize this network to obtain the final result. We tested our method on a range of models. Our outputs describe models more accurately than previous approaches and allow viewers to envision the input 3D shape when rendered from a static viewpoint. We compare our results against networks created by artists. Experts judged our results to be of similar quality to the artist-created ones. We surface additional artist-made networks using perception-based surfacing methods. We then compute new networks from these surfaces. Our outputs are very similar to the originating networks. Our networks accurately describe the input models enabling accurate reconstruction from input curves alone. On all of these examples, the distance between the input and reconstructed models is less than 0.3% of the bounding box diagonal. Thank you for watching.